Greetings, today we'll show you how to replace a mesh in a circular vibratory sieve. It's very easy. You can do it in your own shop using very little tools. Tension is the number one aspect you want to look for. Let's do it. Tools required, four adjustable locking pliers, pair of scissors and an angle grinder, allen key for M8 bolt head, suitable work table as shown in this video. Cut off the desired length of the mesh using a pair of scissors, allowing excess material for folding over around the edges. Place the mesh ring on a suitable table that allows easy access around the circumference of the ring. Fold the mesh around the edge of the ring and clamp at 4.90 degrees apart. Using a rounded edge rod, press and form the mesh all around and against the lower clamp seat. Place one of the clamps around the lower clamp seat and tighten. You will notice the mesh is not under tension at this stage. Remove all clamps. Using a round edge rod, press and form the mesh all around against the upper clamp seat. Assemble the upper clamp ring and ensure the screws are aligned 90 degrees apart from the lower clamp ring. Tighten the bolt securely. Remove the excess mesh around the edge of the ring using a pair of scissors or an angle grinder. Be careful at this stage. In order to remove excess mesh under the bolts, tighten the top clamp and remove the bottom, bottom clamp completely. Using the angle grinder, remove excess mesh at this point as directed. Repeat the grinding process for the upper clamp as before and replace clamp. Ensure both bolts are fully secure. Clean the mesh. Now it should be ready to be used in the sieve. It should have the correct tension. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Like, share, click the bell button for new videos and see you soon.